Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Yee-haw! next. Yeehaw! <laughs> <laughs> How about them cowboys? Oh, yes. How about them cowboys? Eat shit, Skip. <laughs> No. Yes. 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 Hey, O'Brien, is that you? <laughs> I know, God. God. That's oh. what he does, the yes thing, right? Yes, of course he does the yes thing. Yes, but for AEW, he does not anymore. He's the freaking American Dragon, Brian, Brian Danielson. Thank you very much. Matt Ryan. <laughs> Matt Ryan. Matt Ryan. Matt <laughs> Ryan. Not, not. <laughs> oh. You know, Matt Ryan is a great quarterback, you, you know. Oh, I know. Oh you, oh, you agree that he's a great quarterback that blew two big not needs in one in regular season, one in the Super Bowl. That doesn't mean I'm not like a Falcon fan there, David. Come on now. Uh, well, um, yeah, Broncos fans, so. Uh, yeah. Moving on. <laughs> At least, yeah, the fan base. I'll, I'll get to the freaking reactions to the freaking <laughs> Cowboys fans because it's so funny. I saw a couple of videos. It's just so funny. People raging about it. It's funny. Yeah, I want them smacking. In the TVs. Oh yeah, I yeah. saw that video. <laughs> I don't know if that was staged, but still. Well, <laughs> one of them actually. Oh wait, I'll get to that. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. I promise. But yeah, it is right now uh, Thursday, January twenty sixth, twenty twenty three. Um, episode twenty, and right now I'm just uh, testing out my phone. For this, because I just want to try something different. I mean, the only is, mm, nah, on my headphones. But I'll see if I can get through it. If not, I'll, I'll try to change it on a Google Chrome or something. But, um, how is everybody doing today? Well, it's good, except for the fact that the Bills freaking lost. Oh yeah! Oh my gosh! Honestly, I don't get to the. I'll get to the Patriots fan base. Don't worry, I'm gonna roast their ass. Uh, oh, get to him. Honestly, I didn't watch that game because I knew something like that was going to happen. I have, like, I, I, plus, I don't want to bring back bad memories from the last matchup. That was no contest. I mean, yeah, exactly. Here's the question. Is Charles Allen overrated or he's... No, he's not overrated. People are just saying that because because the fucking media jerks the bills off. That's all. Well, I don't know. Because they're bills. tired of the media. That's why they're saying it's overrated. Well, the I no, mean, like the, the Cowboys in a way, because they get jerked off by the media all the time. Look what happened. <laughs> Whoa, yeah. The oh, bills yeah. coming off from like at the very start of the year that they're going to be Super Bowl favorites and they just basically were the same team. I mean, let me just say this here right now. Yes, I hate New York teams with a passion, but at the same time... Just talking I to the want... New Yorker right next to you. <laughs> oh. oh, shit. Here we go. God. Hey. I hate, I hate the Yankees. I hate the Yankees. Hey, Bessie Red Sox all the way. Bessie Red Sox, even though they are garbage, I'm going to support them anyway because they're better Yankee than the Yankees. <laughs> oh. oh. The Yankees suck just like just like your Giants. They suck. Oh. oh, we went pretty fucking far. We went pretty far compared to your fucking team. At least we actually oh. went far enough. God, yeah, it was an improvement. I knew they were going to lose, but you know what? I'll take it because we actually did better this year. Way better. They both did a great job this season. Sure, we need a little bit of work, but at the same time, we're so much better team now. I can't wait for next season. Last more rain stingers. 
What? The Rangers? What did you say? I said, who has more wins than you. Fuck you. You know what? Pages didn't even go to the freaking playoffs. Hey, so they, freak they you got, two. They just got a new offensive coordinator. Or they brought him back. Oh, brother, blah, 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 blah. That's going to make a freaking difference. Belichick needs to go. Well, you know what needs to go? The Cowboys owner. Yeah, well, of course he does. We'll get to that. Yeah, hey, uh, wasn't there breaking news that just happened about the Steelers, uh, Victor? The Steelers? No, it was the... Uh, fuck, what was it? The, uh, the TV yeah, on ESPN. stupid cover... Yes, but it's a freaking commercial right now. I forgot what it was. Was it like... What was the team? Fuck, ah, it's a commercial. Oh. I have one job to remember, but no. Oh, wait a second. Was yeah. it the Panthers? If I'm correct. Yes, speaking? it was the Panthers. It um. was the Panthers. Okay. Yes, it was the uh, Panthers. I was going to say something about the remote, but I guess uh, we can go to Brennan Martin right now for the start. All right. Well, I mean, I know we're going to get into the the divisional round of those uh the the uh, results and the the recap of it. My goodness. And guess what? Most of the games freaking sucked in the divisional round. <laughs> They were not competitive whatsoever. Yeah. Well, first start off with this uh, AFC Divisional Playoffs. First start off with those Jacksonville Jaguars going up against those Kansas City Chiefs. Well, they had no choice. I mean, they, there was no there was no other choice. It was yeah. over before it even started. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. That was no surprise for that one. And with that, Chiefs beating the Jaguars 27-20. And we get to advance to the a AFC Championship game. I didn't even watch that game. I knew it was going to happen. <laughs> yeah, same. I wasn't surprised. And now we get to the one of two NFC Divisional Playoffs. We first start off in this one. To the end of Saturday games, we have the New York Giants, the G-Man, as they go up against the Philadelphia Eagles. Yeah, we were pretty much fucked from day one. Uh-huh. I uh, knew we, were, we weren't going to be able to handle the Eagles and how they operate, but... At the same time, yeah. I'm glad we made it even this far because last year we didn't even fucking make the playoffs. We sucked. But Dayball has done a great job rebuilding this team. We've shown progress. I'm happy we've made it that far. Sure, I'm disappointed that we didn't go through. But you know what? I'm happy that we made it this far. Yeah. Nobody suspected that would happen. But we over overcame that obstacle. Uh -huh. uh, the audio is back up. That's good. Yeah. Sorry, continue. But, yeah, I mean, you know, when they in the wild card, shockingly beat the Vikings in this one. My goodness. A very yes. Good team. Yes, they uh, are a very good team. Yeah, and then, then you came down with the Eagles and, yeah, that was. Uh, I already knew that was coming either way. So, and it ended it in that one. The Eagles moving on to the NFC Championship game with a dominating thirty-eight to seven. Oh my God, that's thirty-eight to freaking seven. That's yeah, absolutely seven. embarrassing. It is embarrassing. Mm -hmm. I felt. Mm -hmm. I talked to David that day. I think I talked to him about that day. And I said to him, this game might be rigged. Because why is it 38 to 7? Mm -hmm. And especially considering that the Eagles were the number one seed, I thought that this game might be rigged. You know, the quote-unquote NFL script writers that everybody talks about? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Absolutely just ridiculous. Ridiculous. 
Mm-hmm. Yep, but it is what it is on that one. So, Eagles, go, again, moving on to the NFC Championship game, which we'll talk a little bit more about that for the previews for both the AFC and NFC title games in just a second or so. Now. Down to four. Yes, mm-hmm. which we'll get to that in a moment, as mentioned. Now we get to Sunday games. We first off with the other half of the AFC Divisional Playoffs. We have the two, the same two teams that was going to be facing each other for Week 17. But we already know the and all that other stuff when that happened. But, again, we already talked about this before. So, however... They're doing it in good old Orchard Park, New York. We have those Cincinnati Bengals going up against those Buffalo Bills. Oh, God. Hey, Patriots fans, fuck off with your fucking behavior towards the Bills. Fuck off. Like, seriously, it's just absolutely ridiculous how they acted when we lost. Yes, the loss was pretty bad. Yes, it was very bad. We did a very bad job. I don't know what was with Josh Allen. The fucking snow didn't fucking help. At the same time, though, we did the best we could, even though we kind of sucked out there, you know, and to the point where freaking all these players started leaving the game before it was even finished. Like Diggs. Yes, Diggs left. He's probably the most prominent one. And then what made it even worse was that Damar was in the stadium, and yet he got to witness all of this. Uh, he was literally wow. at the stadium the day. Yeah, in a, in a suite of some kind. Yeah, like you know those suites where celebrities go to when they watch games? It's like that. Yeah. But... This is absolutely embarrassing showing. I don't know what the fuck happened. It makes me also believe that maybe the game might be rigged. I don't know. I don't know that for sure. But at the same time, the fucking social media, not just Patriots fans, but I think a lot of people, they were acting like complete garbage to Bills fans. Complete garbage. But the, but the most, of, most of the complaints came from the Patriots fan, fan base. The fan base acted like, motherfucker, you're out of the playoffs. Oh, we want our revenge. Oh, fuck off. This behavior was unnecessary. Especially considering all the shit the Bills had to go through. Not only just the Bills, the Buffalo itself, the shooting, Damar getting injured, possibly almost dying on the freaking field, and all this bullshit. This is how you react? We have learned nothing from the DMAR situation. They went back to where they originally was. About to be complete dickheads. They have learned nothing. Well, mostly social media in general. Huh? Social media in general. Well, the media in general, yes, that doesn't help either. It's like we haven't learned a damn thing. We haven't learned a damn thing from this situation. Now it's back to being what it always was. So toxic freaking community, the NFL is. Yeah. So yeah, eat I mean, shit, social media. Eat shit. Especially you, Patriots fans. I can't believe you fucking had the dupe pull that shit. I think it's just... Absolutely unacceptable. Unacceptable behavior. I mean, I didn't Why could it... Well, I, mean, I mean, I get it. Your te- the team lost. At the same time, at the same time, you could have made um, you know, more respectful, more respectful comments compared to what they did. Don't and they're saying how you know Josh Allen is overrated. The Bills are overrated. They're never gonna cat. They're never gonna get a Super Bowl win. It's fucking pathetic. I I haven't seen the reactions myself because. I mean, uh, it's toxic, toxic for the comments, but I mean, I, I can't. When it what... happened, it was toxic as shit, especially on Twitter. Gee, I wonder why. 
I mean, I can't speak on behalf of that because I didn't see those comments when it happened because I didn't watch the game because I just, I mean, I just game just, just felt weird to me and I just, I knew something like this was going to happen if I'm being honest. And plus, Super has stinks with their games anyway. Um, I mean, oh, technical difficulties. What, what happened? Say it again. Say it again. Yeah, go ahead, David. Can you get? Can you guys hear me? Yes. Oh, I was, I, I was saying that um, I can't really speak behalf of the Patriots fans because I didn't see the comments. I mean, I could tell. Oh, I oh, saw a I, lot I of could, Patriots fans acting like that though. I mean, I just, I try to be respectful because, I mean, I wanted them to go deep in the playoffs, and unfortunately, that couldn't happen. Pro I don't know if it was just the emotions of the game. I don't know if it was, the, like, the snow or just, or just everything in general with the emotions. Maybe them have an, I have a an feeling effect. what it is. I have a feeling. I'm just, it's just a prediction. This has to do something with the media, because the media, since they really love the love the Bills this season, it, they made this match into a highly anticipated matchup. Their first after the Demar injury with the Bengals, and they made it. They made they put a lot of pressure on them. And I don't know what's gonna happen with the Bills. No going into next year because they were picked to be the favorites. This is something I remember happening with the Padres. But with the Padres Here we go with the baseball on. analogies. <laughs> hey, I'm, hey, I'm just I'm putting out as an example. As for teams, like back in twenty twenty one there were the favorites coming out of spring training and look what happened. They fell apart. They collapsed. The Bills they were famous throughout the gate, and then they pretty much ended up being the same team, you know, ending the season at the same at the same game in the postseason. Yeah, they at? did. Except it was with the it was with the Chiefs last time. It was not with um, the Bengals. I'm talking about the Bills. Yeah, yeah, I know that. Um. Oh, you're talking about the matchups, okay? Um, but. I mean... Oh, wait, wait, no, no, I, no, 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 no. Wasn't it the Bengals they faced them in the divisional? The Bengals and the Chiefs in the divisional? Or is it... I, I'm confused. I'm I'm stupid. Talk. <laughs> I, I can't imagine the Bengals being last time. Um, I thought it was for some reason. Anyway. Probably not, but... I don't know what's going to happen with the Bills next year, because... I mean... I mean, they just pretty much end the season like exactly back to back years. <clears throat> see how the fans are going to react and what is going to affect the team. And next year is probably going to be Super Bowl or bust because we pretty much same, had the same, same exact back to back years, but this year uh -huh. was more emotion. And now. Next year, it's pretty much Super Bowl or bust because you have this great team that people talked about. The same this year was going to be year year. Unfortunately for you fans, that didn't happen. Going into next year, I mean, it's Super Bowl or bust because it really is Super Bowl or bust. If they don't I mean, get in, I, it's over. Not only that, but if they ended up in the season in the same exact game, not going to the conference championship game, mm -hmm. it's pretty much it's pretty much how they handle things. And I don't know if they need a new coach. I don't know if they need a new owner to spice things up. I don't know what they need. I really don't know what's, what, what what's in Charles, their future. What is Charles Allen's contract? Well, I'm not sure what his contract is. Let me, Brian, can look it up. 
Like where? Like how? Is, how long is he signed to the Bills? Oh, there we go. All right. Okay, so for Josh Allen, he is he signed a six-year, two hundred fifty-eight million dollar contract with the Bills, including a sixteen million, sixteen and a half million signing bonus, hundred fifty million guaranteed, and an average annual salary of forty-three million. Over forty-three million. My goodness. I mean, in terms of how many years, like how long has he signed for? Six years. When did he sign it? When did he sign the contract? Well, for a signing. Okay, yeah. Let me look that up. Shouldn't take me. Okay. Oh no! Oh, what? wait a minute. I just saw the freaking news. Is Hackett going to be an offensive coordinator for the Jets? Fucking Hackett! Yeah. I heard about that. For I was the like, love of God, he's not going to go away? I'm sorry to interrupt. I can't believe this. I can't believe this. The Jets are over. It's over before it even starts. Yeah. Jesus Christ, continue. Five yes. minutes when Josh Allen made the contract. Oh, my God. I'm going to talk about that later. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Oh, my God. Okay, so ooh. all right, so it's over before the season even began. I mean, finish. <laughs> um, wait, oh my God! It's over before next year is over before the season is over. Thank you. Oh Christ! Oh Christ! So okay. Oh, okay. eighteen. 19, yeah, those three, tests are pretty three, good. One, you know? three, two. <laughs> uh, the Chets are at the heart of New York City, y'all. You know what I'm saying? The Chets are. The wow, heart okay. Of New York City. You know yeah. Go, wow, for 2023, though, my goodness. It's going to be interesting, though. I mean, he did sign back in was 2018. We okay, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. So 2024 is his last is his last year on the contract. Yeah. 24, 25 season. Yes. So this could be make or break it with Allen. They could be make it or break it. He's right. This could be make it or break it. Absolutely. So yeah. Uh so yeah, I don't know what's with the Bills' future. I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know what moves they're gonna do, but they have to do something. What are they gonna do with Demar? Like, yeah, what are they gonna do with Demar? Is he gonna continue playing? Is he going to retire? Is he gonna go to a different team? I don't know. That's a really good question. I mean, my goodness. Yeah, back to Allen though. He'll get into free agency in two thousand twenty nine. Wait for wait for tomorrow. Is gonna be a free agent twenty twenty nine. No, Josh Allen. Oh, excuse me. But as for tomorrow, yeah, tomorrow if he goes to the Patriots, I swear to God. Oh Jesus! No oh, goodness sakes. Right. Yeah. Anyway, tomorrow. yeah, real. It brought the game completely embarrassing, and the Patriots fans should be really ashamed of themselves. Yep. And with that, yep, Bengals winning it as beating the Bills 27-10. And it's an anticipated rematch from last year. Oh, yeah, it was the right. Okay, I, I did it right because they the Bengals did face the Chiefs last year. Okay, never mind. Yep. Never mind. Okay. Never mind. Yeah, I mean. That it was because I was rooting for the. I think I was rooting for the Bengals at the time. I was rooting for them to go to the, yeah. and then I got really mad. when <laughs> the Chiefs won. That's what it was. And now I remember. Now I'm starting to remember everything. Okay. I hope the Bengals kick their ass for revenge for last year. I hope they do. Oh yeah. yeah I mean, man. well, actually, I'm rooting for them. Yeah, Burrow. I mean, that's gonna be the thing, you know. Actually, they did beat the Chiefs up in the AFC title game last year. So they mm -hmm. went to the Super Bowl. So the so the Bengals could do it again, though, again this year. Yes. Who knows? It's not impossible. Yeah, I'm I agree. 
I mean, my goodness. But yeah, and now we get into the uh, final divisional playoffs, which is the, the feature side. presentation. <laughs> Hey, Cowboys. Cowboys. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, this is my Stephen A impression. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> you know it was so uh, so crazy when Stephen A had to do that freaking skit on first take on Monday. <laughs> I watched that live on TV. <laughs> Two hours that I told you. That had to Let's be go like. Cowboys. <laughs> Let's go Cowboys. Let's keep sucking, Cowboys. Continue losing. Let's go, Cowboys. Next year, everybody will be like, this is our year. <laughs> They're going to say that. I know they are. This is our year. This is our year. Hell, David's year was more realistic than the Cowboys' year. <laughs> yeah. Indeed. Literally, uh, but I mean, did you say who was the opponent, by the way? Oh, yeah. As I forgot to say. They were going up against those San Francisco 49ers. Now you Oh, gee. Ahead. Yeah, no. Yeah, of course there was no fucking problem. Are you kidding me? Of course there was no problem. It was freaking ridiculous. Literally, <laughs> what I loved about this law, literally, wait, look, that final play, that final play. Jack, what were you thinking? <laughs> you saw the final play? Oh my god! You fell over. <laughs> I think that's a okay. bird. They're like, oh, they're in the like, Cowboy the fans are so fucking delusional thinking, oh, we have six seconds of the game. We can still move a touchdown. We can still make a touchdown. You take some seconds of the game. It's over before Oh my god. Those Cowboys fans are so fucking delusional. Yeah, Seriously, I saw several videos. One of my favorites was this chick literally like screaming after um after she launched the game in the bar, like it was some bar. I think it might have been Texas. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it was. I'm not sure if it was Dallas. But she was literally crying and screaming in the middle of the street, in the middle of the street while cars were wa were driving and like. Ah, 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 Maybe I should uh screaming, it was really ear rape. Maybe I, maybe I should buy the cowboys and change the name to Cowgirls, you know. Oh. <laughs> 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 and I'll have, have Aaron Rodgers as the coach, you know. Oh no. <laughs> about the team. He was like, this team is stupid. This team is stupid. We are a stupid football team. We don't play smart. Those other crap. He was so hysterical. <laughs> and uh, I'll have uh, Dalsoff as the uh, offensive coordinator. <laughs> and then... Yeah. Uh, I'll have who else do I have? Uh, LeBron James as the bench coach. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! <laughs> and then I'll have uh, Tony Scow as the uh, who else do I have Tony as uh, as a nobody. Just uh, <laughs> no, David Saslov must be the nobody. Yeah. Yes, Dave, Mr. Sasoff, yes, he is a nobody. 
He is a nobody. You kidding me? Yeah. Oh, here we go. I rant about Zaslav even on this fucking show. Here I go again with my recurring theme about ranting about Zaslav, even though he did do terrible things. And now the rest of the community understands well how I feel about this fucker. And you're saying you weren't going to talk about it anymore, and I brought up and you didn't listen. Uh, well. <laughs> Well, I can rant about him on the show. I can do that. I'm talking about the four. I was not talking about how I do it on this show. I can rant, still rant about him. <laughs> You're close, David. Six. Oh, Jesus, David. Nobody wants to see your eyelids. <laughs> what are you trying to be? Uh... <laughs> What are you trying to be? Hack it? You're fucking falling asleep when you're coaching? <laughs> Offensive coordinator for the Jets. Give me a fucking break. Yeah. Oh my god. And being head coach for the Broncos. Oh my Oh yeah, I wanna know how that worked. Oh jeez, David left. Oh jeez, I wonder why he fucking left. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> I feel like Hackett might have cut him off. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> or maybe Roger Goodell might have cut him off. I don't know. <laughs> David, wake up from your freaking coma. Go, stop falling asleep. <laughs> Jesus. My goodness. Anyway, yeah, the Cowboys, yeah, absolutely embarrassing game. Literally, that last play, literally, come on, like, they're trying to challenge for stupid, did, did you notice that they were actually one at one play where they were trying to challenge it, even though it was pretty obvious that they didn't go through? Mm -hmm. Oh, my God, it's just ridiculous team. Things are not going to get better for the Cowboys until the owner is gone. Seriously. Things are yeah. all he wants to do. He's even admitted this almost. That the Cowboys owner has admitted this. They only care about selling tickets and not caring about the actual team. They only care about profit. Mm -hmm. Looks like Chrome doesn't want to work for this. But uh, what other news do we have? Yeah, just go over the final score and we get to the fucking news. Because I have to talk about this fucking hack. Hack it. Yep. Boiners. We're going to move on to the NFC title game, which, of course, they'll be facing up against those Philadelphia Eagles. And with the score for the Cowboys and 49ers, 19-12 the final. Moving on. Oh, goodness. Oh, man. Yeah. Mr. Hackett, of all people. Oh, of all People on the freaking Jets. It's over before they even started playing a damn game. It's over. And, and on top of that, Aaron Rodgers, you know, with that potential trade. Real, oh. Wait a minute. He's going to the Jets with a potential trade? It says a – well, he said this. It's basically, and move that – adds to an already intense speculation about a potential and I mean a potential Aaron Rodgers trade. Oof. And of course, Coach Robert Soleil said Hackett is a home run higher. Home, home run, run higher. higher? Home run higher? Home run higher. Oh, you sorry. saw what he did to the fucking Broncos, right? Yeah. I this is not Dallas opposite Cowboys. day no more. This is not opposite Wait. day. No, no. And he, and he all and, and on top of that he also said if Rogers can make it a grand slam. Aaron Rodgers. Rogers, Rogers <laughs> and the freaking Jets. Go fucking figure. Go fucking figure. Jets and Rogers? That's embarrassing. Yes, it is. Uh, Grand slam. Give me a fucking break. 
shove those baseball analogies up your ass because the Jets are done before the season even started. Yep. Mm-hmm. <sighs> yep. Done for all that. All right. What was it? Oh, yeah. Nathaniel Hackett, give me a fucking break. That's good. Goodness sakes. But, yeah. As mentioned earlier, a Panthers of Frank Wright is will be the new head coach for the Panthers in this one. Which is over uh, interim head coach of Steve Wilkes. I'm this. I mean, hmm. It's going to be really interesting to see what happens from there. I mean, and there were, I mean, speaking of that person, Frank Reich, he was, he was the starting quarterback for the first game in Carolina Panthers history in 1995. I mean, my goodness. Mm. And now the team's sixth head coach for the Carolina Panthers. Ugh. But we'll see what happens with Wright. You know, even though he got fired as the head coach of the of the Colts back in November. Oh, he's the head coach of the Colts. Oh, no wonder. <laughs> oh, now I don't even know how this is gonna go. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. The no. Panthers. Oh no. Now I'm not sure. Now. Yeah. Now it's. Oh no. I didn't even know who he was, and now he, then he told me he, was, he did the freaking cult before he got freaking fired, and he got Jeff Saturday. Oh, no. Yeah, oh, man, that's... That's tough, as Brandon would say. <laughs> well, even though credit to, uh, you know, Mr. Chris Moot with that, but, but, yes, that's tough. Alright. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know about the Panther season now. Going into next Oh good God. Oh goodness sakes. But yeah. Uh, another news that uh, the NFL extends players coalition partnership with a fifteen million dollar grant. Mm. Where it says this. The NFL is expanding its partnership with the Players Coalition to address issues of, uh, I wouldn't be surprised with those things, racial and social justice with a five-year- Yet they barely do jack shit. Let's face it, they don't do jack shit. Yeah, not surprised. They really do not. Not trying to sound like a political expert because I'm not. In fact, I'm apolitical. With that being said, the the NFL doesn't fucking care. They don't care. All they care about is their games. Yep. They want to think that they want people to think that they're all forward thinking and stuff. No, they're not. I mean, they don't. I mean, if they were forward the, uh... thinking, they would probably put put like. In fact, put money into like funding stuff for like concussions or bad injuries, like what happened to Daymar. But no, we gotta do this instead. They don't care. Yep, not surprising as always. They do care about uh, the Fox crew dancing to uh, the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. <laughs> Motherfucker! <laughs> that fucking video! God damn it! The Fox crew dancing to Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. I don't know what the fuck what was Fox you? thinking with that video. The Fox with the, the Mickey. Oh my god. What is. Oh. <laughs> oh god. What in the love of In and Out is this nonsense? God damn it. <laughs> do, they oh, tape, do they tape those in Los Angeles? New York. I believe they shoot. They should, they do those in Los Angeles. Yes, I think they do. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, let's let's be hip and trendy with the kids. <laughs> That's how we're gonna get the kids' attention. Uh, <laughs> my word. Woo! 
man. All right. Let's see what we have at Winston Star. All right. So. Oh, all right. Let's go with. All right. Uh, Patrick Mahomes, though, says the first practice went better than expected. So basically get ready for whether he can play in Sunday's AFC title game against, as mentioned earlier on the show. If he doesn't play, if he does not play, the Chiefs are in trouble. If he does yep. not play, they're in trouble. Mm-hmm. So. Yep. Instead of, uh, you know, with, uh, Joe, with Joe Burrow of the Cincinnati Bengals, instead of Arrowhead, he, he calls it Burrowhead. <laughs> Burrowhead. Burrowhead. Ha ha. Very funny. Very, yeah. very funny. Not. Yeah. Very original, mind you. Very right. original. Right. All right. And plus, another thing, though, which, of course, mentioned the rematch from last year's AFC title game, in which the Bengals beat the freaking Chiefs in overtime. 27 24 in that get in that matchup. Mm-hmm. That's right. And could they I mean, could the Bengals do it again like last like last year's? Who knows? I, I, mean, I think I think they can. I think they can. Alright. Thought it'd be better than the Pro Bowl. <laughs> oh yeah. The- Gosh. Tic tac doe. Tic tac doe. Oh my god. <laughs> Almost similar to tic tac doe. Welcome back to tic tac doe, y'all. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I went that route. <laughs> uh, yep. My god. And the water balloon thing. I'm like, oh, oh, God, water balloon. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Obstacle Where the course. fuck is Mark Summers? That's my question. Yeah. yeah. Listen. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Red Bubble Bum Bum Stream. What the I'm fuck out. is this? Again? Yeah. Again? Man, yeah, fuck that Red Bubble bullshit. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Red Bubble Bum Bum You son of a bitch. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. You little shit, Cricket David. <laughs> no, no. He just went on the screen. He put it on the screen and put me back on the screen. We'll be back on the screen. We'll be back. We'll be back. You said to put it back, and I put it back. See? No, I'm not talking about Red Bubble. Talk about me. Jesus, Red Bubble, my. kiss my ass. Mm-hmm. Red Bubble is the best website in the whole world. It's the truth. Ah, uh, yeah, better than <laughs> better than Pornhub. <laughs> Don't do that. Bad. Stay. Jesus, what is your problem, David? What in the actual hell are, are you doing, David? Oh, uh, what are you I'm doing? Like the thing. A I'm bullshit? Like the thing. Why is it real bullshit? Why are you twisting us around? Uh, I'm not controlling anything. That's bullshit. I'm not doing it either. I don't even have the c- controls on me right now, even though I am. Under your freaking stream yard, but that means that I have no control over this. I am not pressing any button. Who I that told me one thing. This is David and David only. That's yeah. fake news. Fake news? How about this for fake news? Um 
Boston Red Sox are going to go to the World What? Oh, shoot. No, 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 that's fake news. Boston Red Sox going to the World Series. Oh, that's fake news. You know what's also fake news? Uh, Tom, Tom Brady's wife didn't do anything. Giselle did not do. She didn't do anything. Oh, oh, no, she... oh, oh my God! It's the alternate Yeah. I mean, God. Uh, We're getting out of right. here. Yeah, I'm getting out of here because these people are over controlling the damn stream. They were going to damn video, I mean. You mean, David? You have to, you have, you have to apologize for what you just did. You have to apologize. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry for being a good boy. I just want to have some fun. Is that better? Fine, as long as you don't watch 80 for Brady. I Fucking movie. Isn't that on 80 Netflix? for Brady. No, it's a fucking movie that's gonna go to fucking theaters! Oh, oh crud. I'm not <sighs> going to any movie theater. Oh, gee. No, but you're gonna fucking see that movie when it, when it comes to streaming. You're gonna, watch, you're gonna watch that movie day one, I know you. You're gonna get a Paramount Plus subscription just to watch the damn movie and cancel right away after you're done! Hey, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna pay for a subscription like that. Well, you're gonna pirate! <laughs> Pirate. You're gonna pirate the movie. You're gonna download it onto your computer. <laughs> oh yeah, that mm -hmm. kind of pirate. Oh yeah. Like ah. pirate. Eighty for Brady. Is that the best you can come up with for a movie? Jesus Christ. I don't also, know. Brady produced it. How about self indulgent much? <laughs> I don't know what the 80 in, in the stands for. 80 because they're, because it's about old people. 80 for Brady. They're old. 80 for Brady. They're going to that Super Bowl. I think it was in 2017 because of Brady. 80 for Brady. That's what the fucking title means. Mm -hmm. It's like the movie Book Club, but makes a fucking self-indulgent Brady nonsense. And Gronk is in the movie too. I suspect it. Oh, <laughs> um. Although I don't hate Gronk compared to Brady. I don't hate Gronk. He's good. I He's not Tim Tebow. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> I just wish he didn't retire early, but he's good. Um, well, he wants to go to Fox now be after, after the successful... Divisional coverage, he could go to Fox if he wants to. Father <laughs> mm -hmm. Brandon, I don't I'm gonna ask you about something after this, so just to let you know. But uh Um just wanna give it a heads up. Um So that's gonna be it for this episode. I wanna thank everybody for watching and I'll see you all next week. Don't forget to subscribe to the Demon Thousand Network for great more content like this one.